Hi, welcome to the Viking Blogger. Um, my name is Eric Trotman, and I'm an instructor at the Viking Code School. And today we're just going to be introducing the application that we're going to be building over the next several months to help walk you through a full featured production process for an application. Uh, this is an application that we're going to be using in both the prep work for the, our intensive program and the intensive program itself. So basically we're going to kind of set it up through the, through the prep work, uh, doing some UX, some design, and uh, some wireframing, and then as we move towards the intensive program, um, that's where we're going to cover the actual production bits of you know building out the Rails infrastructure, building out the front end, the databases, and uh, you know basically turning this thing live on the web on Heroku. So our goals with this project are we want to show off a real development workflow from beginning to end for a, a, an application that's actually complex. I mean, m most of what you get out there is a series of toy apps. And those are great for illustrating the really high level or the entry level concepts. But this is an application that's designed to, to go really deep into some of the some of the concepts that we're going to be learning. I mean, you know, we're, we're not just going to be skirting over, uh, you know, the, the basics of like, oh, well, here's here's how you throw up a scaffolded Rails app. I mean, we're we are going to be going into, you know, thinking through your data models, setting up your models, working with models, views, and controllers. Yes, but also. Um, building search functions, you know, building, uh, working with associations, both simple associations and complex associations, uh, turning mockups into front end, working with user stories in an agile development process, uh, you know, working with Bootstrap, uh, just you know, every phase of of what you would go through to build a real full featured web app is going to be covered over the course of the next four months. So. Um, the last thing is we want to also take, you know, if you look at point three here, we, we want to, th this is going to be actually a pretty complicated application. And at some points it's going to seem simple and at some points it's going to seem overwhelmingly complex. The point is we, we also want to, you know, kind of go from starting with what's a fairly ambitious project and, and showing you how you break that down into small and actionable pieces. And those are the pieces that we're going to be covering in each of the weeks and units ahead over the next four months. So how this is going to work is each week we are going to cover a different part of the application. Um, we're going to start during the prep work with the design process. Uh, that, that's what we're going to be covering up front. Um, and what that means is really just, talk, again, talking about the UX, the design, and uh, you know, some of the issues surrounding the, the wireframing and how you kind of turn, that, turn an idea into the, the pre-production side of things. And then uh, over you know, the later prep courses and then into the actual interactive program, the intensive program, we're going to be covering the production process itself, which is you know building the database, the Rails backend, the HTML and CSS up front, and everything everything in between. So uh, just to refresh the design process, um, as you should know from the reading, you know there's three phases. We have the discovery phase where we're trying to figure out who the user is, what their goals are, and then what ultimately makes them happy when they're using the app, which is actually one of the most important parts of this whole process, which is constantly underdone by engineers. When they're when they're building things, is they don't they don't properly think about who are they building it for, and it's not something that we're going to cover in great depth because that's a little bit outside of the scope of this course, which does tend to lean a little bit more production focused. But we do want you to be aware of the of the kinds of challenges that are involved in that process. Uh, the second step in the design process is your strategy, is kind of thinking macro level, figure out what your information architecture is, your navigation, your interactions, uh, and how all these things can get tied together into you know, allowing your user to achieve their goals efficiently, effectively, and with satisfaction, which is, which is how, we, how we get to good UX. And then finally, um, it's the design phase where we kind of turn all those high-level macro ideas into specific pages and then use the, the visual design elements and in combination with our mockups to, uh, to kind of tie all that together and, and, and make sure that our user steps through each page with the right flow and, and you know, makes it as easy as possible and as enjoyable as possible to achieve their goals. All right, let's get started.